Hello cool dudes, I am at Chorley Wood for a 9.9 .9 mile walk which might see me perilously close to walking in the dark. Fingers crossed I can get to Chesham by about quarter to five which will mean me walking around two miles an hour. Pretty much a fast pace for me. Let's just shut up and go on with it. For some reason, every time I say Chorley Wood, I think of that Simon Garfunkel song, that Hammer and the Nail one. Don't you think it sounds a bit like it? All right, well, tell us some facts, mate, about Chorley Wood. Well, in 2004, the Deputy Prime Minister did a survey of all the English neighbourhoods, 32,000, and Chorley Wood came out as the best quality of life, number one. So um, I expect to see everybody smiling. We're now in the Chorleywood House Estate, or should I say, the House Estate. Look, I've told you, don't get any ideas about growing any branches. Do you want to see something cute? Look at this. Hello, cool dude. Hello. Listen, just give me some attention. Ah, the beautiful rolling meadows and the M25. This is the first sight of the River Chess. People have been going to that church since the 12th century. So, over 800 years. I wonder if people will still be watching my video in 800 years. I mean, they probably won't be watching in another two minutes. What is more interesting, me or grass? Me or grass? Me or grass, what is more interesting? Don't fall. That hay does look nice, apart from the fact that you've shit in it. I don't want to get muddy, but I don't want to walk near this and get electrocuted. Big problems. That was a delicious meal, my friends. But it's now just gone two o'clock. Sunset at 4.13. And guess what? I've got 5.83 miles to go, which is 2.9 miles an hour almost. I've never done that sort of speed. I'm gonna be left out in the dark I'm probably gonna get killed. All just to make a video. Brilliant. Moral of the story is, don't spend 20 minutes trying to get an alpaca to look at you. That says four and three quarter miles, but the map tell me to go this way. I think it's Chenny's Manor. And here's a nice church. 2.13, I've 5.5 five miles left. I don't know what route I'm supposed to be going. A valuable five minutes wasted in the church maze. And now, we have like less than two hours to walk five and a half miles. This is turned into a survival episode. There's a mansion on the hill. Looks pretty nice but I don't know what it's called. I made a wrong turn. And I walked really fast in the wrong, slightly wrong direction for about seven or eight minutes. So that's cost me 15 minutes. I'm supposed to go here, not here. Instinctively, I went and landed there, down there. I'm so cross. Always check the map every five seconds. 
just walking through Latimer now, which is beautiful, but I've slightly ruined because of my bad planning and I'm in serious nightfall trouble. Luckily, I've got a head torch that I got for Christmas. Always pack a head torch. And that, my friends, is Latimer House. The snazzy building I mentioned earlier when I was going the wrong way. Latimer House is famous for being the home of Latimer Whitbread, the British javelin thrower. And there is the forecourt from where Latimer Whitbread threw her first javelin all the way into the lake down there. And that, my friends, is a 100% true story. The views of this valley are spectacular, but it's almost 3.13, an hour till sunset. And my mistake cost me about 20 minutes, I think, which is maybe three quarters of a mile. Oh, so let's see where we are with an hour to go. One hour left, 3.6 miles to go. And that's the question of the day, dear viewers. If you were to have a statue in the field, what would you have? I would have a massive sun, so I didn't get stuck out in the dark in the middle of bloody nowhere. He's enjoying himself. I'm not. I've got about 40 minutes left, 2.64 miles. Just hope I get to the outskirts of town. 1.84 miles away. <laughs> 1.48 miles. It's 10 minutes to sunset. <sighs> Apologies for how sweaty I am. I think I might have a bit more time as uh, it still seems fairly light. Oh, cool, dude. It is 4.13, sunset apparently but I've got 1.1 miles left and it's still quite light. So that was an anti-climax, apologies. It is just a bit too muddy to enjoy it, cool dudes. Yes, a tractor stops an alligator. Good job too, because I've got to go straight past it. 0.5 miles away, ready to go home. Should have been 10 miles. We'll soon find out what it actually was. Nice one, cool dudes. I just ran for the train and got on it. It was 11.9 miles, five and a half hours, probably about a mile and a half worth of mistakes. I quite enjoyed it, but it was very muddy towards the end, but it has been particularly rainy lately. I recommend doing this in sort of April, May time when it's a bit less muddy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to join the club and the proceeds will go towards my Norfolk Coastal Path walk. Thanks for watching and most importantly, stay cool. See you later.